Okay, so I wanted to show you the save and load feature, which is in the selection tool and is right here, save and load. So I don't use this all the time, but I do a lot of character work and sometimes I like to color in my line work uh, in different sections. So for example, I have my little gariel here and I've colored in one section of him. And I want the tail to, to, I want to color that in separately. So I've made a new layer and I've colored the tail separately. Now, of course, I could alpha lock both of these layers and I will get the same effect. So now that the, t oops, now that the tail is alpha locked here, I can color on it and it will just affect the tail. But that doesn't help me if I later on want to change the colors for this section and this section because they're separate because they're on separate layers so this is when i use save and load so all you do is you take one of your sections i'm going to take this section i'm going to tap on the layer i'm going to hit select and the selection tool pops up here save and load will pop up i'll hit the plus and now you can see the silhouette of only the green shape so now I have my green shape and that's selected I can go to the tail I can tap on that layer I can tap select save and load and the little plus so now we're all set with these two layers the selections are saved which means the shapes uh, are saved so now I'm going to merge these two layers and Essentially now, the green coloring is one layer, but if I want to just shade in the tail, I can just go to my selection tool here, I can go to save and load, and then I can tap on the tail, and let's color this in really quick. Okay, so now we have a nice shadow on the tail. And I'm just going to take this original color again. I'm going to take my soft brush. And now I didn't go, I'm still in the selection, so the tail is still selected. And now I'm just going to take my airbrush and just give it a nice little gradient. That's another trick to kind of make like a smooth gradient. Color the whole thing in and then take your airbrush in a different color or an eraser and then just sort of just give it a nice a nice gradient so that just separates uh, these two shapes and, and the good thing about that is now if I decide to change the color of this green I can just go to adjustments hue saturation and then I can change the color and everything changes together